Hey everyone! I would just like to remind everyone that this video is made for older fans and adults. It is not made for kids. So, with that said, enjoy the fucking video! Random docks was in disarray. Goods were arriving at all hours of the day, and it soon became too much to keep up with. Salty tried as hard as he could, but the sheer quantity of freight coming in meant that even he couldn't keep the docks organized. As such, goods trains were going out constantly in an attempt to get things back under control. The engines were rushed off their wheels, but this didn't seem to matter all that much to Gordon. One day, the big blue engine was collecting a boat train from the docks. In all my years of working here, I've never seen this yard in such a mess. Have some respect, Salty, this is ridiculous. Rargh, I be trying me best, matey. It'd be busy out here, you know. It's not easy to keep up with. Hmph. <laughs> if you worked harder, this yard wouldn't be in such a sorry state. Why, I'd never let things get this disorganized. It wouldn't be dignified. Your arrogance isn't exactly what I'd call dignified. Boko cut in as he arrived to collect a goods train. Salty's trying his best out here. Why, I'd reckon you'd get overwhelmed and run for your passenger trains after an hour of doing Salty's work. I would not! Yar, take no notice of him, Boko, me lad. He's just too big for his buffers. <laughs> Gordon was about to retort when the guard's whistle rang out. Indignantly, the big engine puffed away. Later that night, Gordon had just backed down into his shed when he saw the Fat Controller's car pull up next to the sheds. He got out and walked over to the engines. Henry and Gordon, you two are to go to the docks and each collect a goods train. I want things back to normal up there by the end of the week, so it's very important you go without fuss. Yes, sir, Henry said before puffing away. Gordon, however, wasn't as enthusiastic. But, sir, I, I, I'm a goods engine. Surely someone like Thomas or Percy is more suited for a job like this. You're one of the strongest engines in my fleet, Gordon. It has to be you. Run along now. Otherwise, I'm sure James would be more than happy to handle the express tomorrow. <sighs> yes, sir, Gordon said before he too puffed out of the shed. Gordon waited impatiently at the docks for his trucks to be loaded. Come on, hurry it up back there! I can only go so fast, you big blue whale, Cranky called. Be patient, why don't you? What's the rush for, Gordon? If I'm to pull trucks, then I'll show these miserable engines how a proper engine does it. Arr, take no notice of him, Henry, Salty called as he rushed by. The blubbering sod thinks he's above this kind of work. Of course I'm above it, Gordon fumed. I'm not made for grimy jobs like this. That's what little shunters like you are for. And with a dramatic blast of his whistle, Gordon thundered out of the docks. By morning, Gordon was thundering down the main line with his long rig of trucks. Come on, come on, pick up the slack back there. Gordon called angrily to the trucks. The trucks rattled and shook. They weren't used to being bounced about like this. Further up the line, Fergus was helping to repair an old branch line. The signalman at the junction had forgotten to switch the points back to the main line, meaning that Gordon was unknowingly on a crash course for trouble. Oh, that blasted signalman has switched me onto the wrong line. Gordon tried to break. But the trucks, who were fed up with Gordon's arrogance, weren't about to let that happen. On, 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 they shrieked and pushed Gordon down the track. Hey, stop, right now! The trucks ignored him and kept pushing. In the distance, Gordon could see Fergus and the workmen, and he knew he could never stop in time. Thinking quickly, Fergus pulled the men back, leaving the rest of his trucks to act as a barrier. Gordon braked as hard as he could, but it was no use. 
Help! Gordon cried as he hit the flatbed and flew off the track. When he'd finally come to a stop, he found himself staring into the eyes of a farmer's scarecrow. No one had been hurt, but Gordon felt rather undignified. Well, Gordon, you wanted to show the others a thing or two, and you've certainly done that. You've shown them just how stupid you are. I'm, uh, sorry, sir, Gordon replied feebly. When you are repaired, the fat controller continued, you will handle trucks until you've shown you can do it properly. Gordon said nothing. He just looked at his buffers, embarrassed. When Gordon finally returned from the works, he still felt rather foolish. He steamed into the docks to collect a goods train, where he found Salty waiting for him. Um, hello, Salty. I, uh, I just wanted to say that I'm... Ah, don't worry about it, matey. Now I'm guessing you got more than enough of a wake-up call during the crash. So, you're not going to laugh at me? Ah, well, that wouldn't be very dignified, now would it? <laughs> Gordon laughed, and soon the two engines were laughing and carrying on like old friends. Gordon still isn't all that fond of goods trains. He much prefers his passengers. But nowadays, if he's asked to pull trucks, he does so without fuss. He and Salty still chat sometimes, and though he can be a bit much, Gordon no longer sees him as undignified. Thank <laughs> you.